All right, so it's Push Week in Kellak. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the hard difficulty with the Barn, Keo, Gothar, and Kizuna team. Barn is at 6 6 with 5 out of 5 weapons, um, so this is pretty much whale team. Uh, I just want to leave that clear at the beginning of the video. If you do not have Keo, um, you can change him up for a 6 6 mon speed or. 4 6 one speed could also work, but um, your best option would be Kane, the SR unit. Um, but Kyo is the best option. Even if you have him at low level, if you have him level 60 without awakenings, you, you'll be fine. All you need is his debuffs. So for turn 1 over here, you want to move cards. You do not want to apply debuffs on turn 1, mainly because his hit Kellax Solidify. Uh, comes in on turn 4, so you want to start applying debuffs as from turn 2 or from turn 3 um, to be able to like maximize the amount of solidifies that he has for Barnes ultimate. So for this for this turn you're just going to move, sorry, you're just going to use Kyo's card, um, use Kizuna's uh, card to rank her up and give the attack boost to everybody, that counts as a, as like points, and then just move Barnes' cards to be able to get his ultimate sooner. So what we're going to do now is we are going to hope RNG is on our side. So the best way to get points in this boss is to have as much attack as possible um, when you're going to use Barn's ultimate. And the best way for doing that is having as many solidifies, which as you can see every single debuff that he has over there at the top of his HP bar, they are going to become into solidifies, which uh, basically mean that Power Strike, which is Barn's ultimate, will be doing much more damage. So that is the first factor. The second factor is uh, the fact that Kyo is putting Ignites, which means that you're going to be doing more damage and he's going to be doing less damage to you. And then you want to have Festival Gothas uh, Holy Relic proc at the same time as a level 3 Kizuna buff, um, which this might sound like, oh my god, I need RNG. You can manipulate it very easily, but you are going to need a couple of runs. This is like my 15th run and I, I saw some hiccups that I could have fixed up, but that's the um, that's the score that I'm gonna go with. Um, you can also uh, do something that's completely different, which is what I'm gonna do right now. Um, as you can see, I have Barn, Kyo, and Kizuna ultimates right here. Um, Kyo's ultimate is going to put more Ignites, which I do not think I'm, I used it in this run. I'm not entirely sure if I used it in this run or not. But um, I realized that I do not have uh, Gotha, Gotha Holy Relic, so I'm going to use Kizuna's ultimate, which she increases the damage that you do by a certain amount depending on her ult level. If you have her at high dupe, we have a 2-6 on this uh, account. Um, we, we, you, won't, you won't be able to do as much damage as you can see the other people doing 31,000 points, for, for example, will do. And here I just go and I quickly check, yeah, I'm not going to be doing as much damage now. So what you're going to do, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use Kyo Ultimate, I'm going to be using Gotha's um, Apply Debuff to have as much debuffs as possible, and then I'm going to be using Kizuna's level 3, and then I'm going to be using Bond's Ultimate, and that's going to give me quite a lot of damage. So yeah. Now that's pretty much the run, like, the, the, you just have to have as, as much attack as possible on turn 4. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much to Ro for being able to, for, for allowing me to use this account. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a safe one.